Papa Doofy channel. Today I'll be showing off my smart room. Alexa, Ace. Good night, Edison. The galaxy is on the way. May the force be with you. my uh, bedtime sequence. I use this every night. I like it because I got a projector screen. It shows all these what? stuff. The screen dots are um, stars. That's like a aurora kind of thing. If you see here, there's the remote. This button is to take out the scat. The stars this button does nothing this button just takes out the aurora this button also does nothing this one um does a little pattern thing this one um changes the color of the aurora and this makes the um, stars darker this one makes it lighter thanks guy bye Good night, Edison. The galaxy is on the way. May the force be with you. Lights are set. Want some bedtime stories? A lucky harvest. Oh no, Betty mumbled, glancing around the kitchen. What's the matter? Olivia called from the dining room where she was clearing the table. My wedding band must have slipped off when I was cooking. I can't find it. Betty and Olivia scoured the kitchen from top to bottom. They searched the sink, peeked under the corners of the rug, and shined a flashlight under the fridge. Betty sighed, but her wife urged her not to give up. Don't you worry, honey, we'll find it, Olivia said as she scraped some vegetable scraps into the compost bin. Months passed and winter slowly gave way to spring, the snowbanks melting to reveal rich black earth ready for sowing. Betty planted her usual vegetable garden, zucchini, carrots, sweet peas, and topped the rows with fertilizer from her compost bin. When it came time to harvest, she knelt between the rows and plucked the plump vegetables from their vines. Something shiny and gold gleamed beneath the leaves of her zucchini plant. Betty's eyes widened. Bedtime stories. Paul cannot sleep. Have you already brushed your teeth? Asks Daddy. Sure, but also watch my face. Answers Paul. Paul is five years old and already a very big boy. He can get ready for bed all on his own. Okay then, off to bed, says Daddy. Together they go to Paul's room and Paul hops into bed. He has a really nice bed. It looks like a fire engine with blue lights, a big window and even a fire lighter. It just lacks a steering wheel. But Daddy says that would not be good in a bed in which Paul always jumps around. Paul lays down and Daddy covers him with the blanket. So, is everything all right, my dear? Asks Daddy. One moment, says Paul, and looks around. Three can bother his hair. Kill him too, but then Paul hesitates. Something is missing. Shouts Paul. Where is mine? Paul needs something really important so that he can sleep. But what is it? Now it is your turn, dear listener. Tell your Alexa, does Paul need a horse? A car or a security blanket so that he can sleep? Yeah. A car. Correct. Without his red toy car, Paul cannot sleep. The red car is the most beautiful and fastest of his cars. On its sides. It is white stripes that make it look even faster. Sometimes, he is even allowed to play with it in his bed. Daddy knows that too, so he asks, Where did he go? I don't know, says Paul. We have to find it, otherwise I cannot sleep. Okay, says Daddy. Where should we start? Now it is your turn again. Dear listener, tell you Alexa, where Paul should start. Should Paul look in the bathroom, the living room, or in the kitchen? On the mid- Bathroom. Paul and Daddy were just in the bathroom a few moments ago. 
Paul bolts and is in the bathroom before daddy. It is still nice and warm because Paul just had a shower. After a shower, his hair always smells so good. In the summer, when it is hot, Paul may keep his hair a little wet. Mom always says that this is his air conditioning.